Okay, it's day three, Wednesday of orientation, and I am currently at the West Memphis Terminal C. Still here, and I look a hot mess. I know it is hot. It's a hundred and like two degrees, and the humidity is pissing me off. So I know at the end of the day, I'm gonna be too tired to make a video. So I thought like since there's a little bit of downtime right now, I'll do a video real quick. I'm hot and I'm sweaty and I know once I get home, I'm not doing any videos. Okay. So when we got at, to orientation today, we went over the geotab um, slash people net slash um, driver hub. And that's basically the tablet and the app. We went over that. They taught us a little bit of that about that how to use it blah 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 that took a while that took like two hours oh jesus there was a lot of slides then we did another zoom call but this time it was with different people this time it was with all the main or head driver managers or managers of each terminal they introduced themselves and that they did a little speech and that was it they went over some things but nothing major okay and then we had lunch from the same restaurant I ordered the same thing same thing as yesterday and then after lunch um, pretty much all we did was wait for our drug test to come back um, back in the day um, it used to be that they had their own medical staff come in and drug test us here um, because of COVID things changed and now um, everyone has to go to like different doctors offices clinics or urgent cares to do drug tests um, at different locations so they basically gotta wait for all these drug tests to come in before anyone can be officially an employee that took forever after lunch from lunch up until 3 45 we were just waiting for them drug tests to come in. We completed everything. We were just waiting for drug tests to come back. Eventually, the drug tests come back, and that's when they start giving us our um, badges. Um, they gave us booklets, driver handbooks, instructions on how to use the tablets. Uh, they gave us our truck assignments for the experienced drivers. Um, they gave the owner operators something. Forgot what that was, and the oh they also gave us all our kind of data cards for fuel and the the student drivers they're waiting for their trainers to come in so they went back to the hotel so then they gave us this checklist for the people who need, got their trucks um, they gave us this checklist to us to go find our trucks go over the checklist um, don't sign into the tablet until you go over that checklist and if anything's wrong with the truck take it directly to the shop and there were some minor things wrong with my truck there was a crack on the windshield um, the bunker heater's not working uh, headlights not working and there was something else I forgot but it's at the shop right now and there's a team a couple that's here they're at the shop too so I guess there's something wrong with their truck um, I didn't do a video of my truck because it's nothing special. It's a truck. It's a 2021 Kenworth. It has like 350,000 miles on it. Didn't. It's just an average everyday truck. And plus, I'm pretty sure eventually that truck's gonna get taken from me because if I remember correctly, they only keep their trucks up to 400,000 miles. Is that 350? I'm not gonna have that truck for very long. So there's no point in even doing videos. If you've seen the truck, you've seen them all. Kenworth doesn't really change the equation when it comes to the truck it's pretty much the same setup every every year so if you want to know what the truck looked like just look up Kenworth and it's going to be what I'm in there's nothing special about the truck so I didn't do a video but um, as far as the truck being clean um, I am an OCD freak so any truck is not going to be up to my standards unless it's a brand new truck off the line when it comes to cleanliness um, they have a guy here who's pretty much his whole job is to clean trucks and I'm not trying to like shape men or whatever but I just feel like every guy that I know sucks at cleaning so when he told me there was a guy that does it I was like yeah that truck is not gonna be clean to my standards like it's not dirty there's no dirt at all but it's dusty it's dusty and the person who was in the truck before me was a smoker um there's tar stains on the ceiling 
like there's like tar stains now uh, so like once the truck gets fixed then i'm gonna have to go home and get my cleaning supplies come back clean the truck to my standards and then go and get um all i have to get a refrigerator and then put all my crap in the truck and by that time I know I'm gonna be tired and then my dispatcher just called me he introduced himself to me and he was like you ready to start tomorrow like bruh it's probably gonna take me all day to just clean the dog on the truck I'm gonna be too tired but you're allowed to pick your own load so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find a load for the day after tomorrow because like I can't just take off and leave I need to be settled so I want to be settled in the truck and I want it to be up to my standards, so I'm gonna need a day. So once I get my truck, I'm probably gonna pick a load for the day after tomorrow because I'm already tired. This heat has me drained. Oh, okay. But yeah, just waiting for my truck to get fixed. They just pulled it in, and I'm right beside the shop. If you can see, like past that trailer is the shop. Like past that trailer is the shop doors. Really on the other side of that trailer. So I'm literally like looking over here waiting to see him pull my truck out the shop so I can look like it. Um look at it and also my truck didn't have a tablet in it. I can't do nothing without the tablet. Cause the way this company is set up, like some companies you just need the app on your phone, but this company you have to be logged in on the tablet to be assigned to the truck to be able to get through fuel, to be able to get loads and i don't have a tablet and i asked them in the shop like can i get a tablet and do like i don't think we got no tablets so i told my driver manager he said he's gonna figure something out so i can't do nothing without a tablet you ever been so hot that water tastes like jesus like who this is refreshing oh lord lord have mercy but yeah, that's just a recap of today. And that's day three of orientation. Let's see how the rest of this day could go. So if it goes smoothly, I get my truck back with a tablet. Then you probably won't see me again until the next day. But we'll see.